Okay, this is a video response to the video against Porter's Go to Hell on the Mr. Ripsion channel by a uh, young lady named Jacqueline. And <clears throat> she's responding to uh, a girl that had written to her about uh, how her pastor had said that she deserved to go to hell because she supported gay relationships and gay marriage. And that's, that's obviously wrong. There's no need for that. Um, you know, it's fine for, you say you disagree with somebody, it's not biblical, but don't need to be nasty and hateful like that. But it's interesting how she admits that she, this uh, develops feelings of hatred within her and against those that disagree with her. And often, to, this video is full of uh, talk about uh, how those that aren't for same-sex marriage are hateful and that's certainly not how I feel and how I know how a lot of people feel. But it does seem that that's the way that people for uh, gay rights think. They think, well, if you don't agree with me, I hate you. And I think that's where actually a good deal of the, uh, the hate is going on in this whole conversation. But just to address some of the uh, misunderstandings in this video about uh, Leviticus 18 and how Christians cherry pick by picking on homosexuals but not all the other uh, commandments uh, there in the Old Testament. Uh, you got to understand that the law of Moses, the Old Covenant, was given to the Jewish people, never to Gentiles, never to Christians. When Jesus came, he said, I fulfilled the Old Covenant, and I'm bringing it into a New Covenant. And the New Covenant didn't have those prohibitions. So that even Jewish believers in Jesus today, Jewish Christians, need not obey uh, the Old Covenant. She mentions about how Jesus never said anything about uh, gay relationships. So if he didn't think it was a big deal to mention it, it must be okay. Well, he never mentioned anything about gay bashing either. You know, before you make a point, it'd be good just to think or an argument. You'd think, well, what if I just change this scenario a little bit? Would it still work? And this one obviously doesn't. He doesn't mention about child molesting and, and all sorts of things. And yet uh, we know these things are are wrong and that's not the way Christians think anyway um, they, they take everything where they should at least take everything in context not just uh, not just the red letters uh, in the Bible okay and she talks about uh, zoning in because it's fun to hate people and no it's not about that we're zoning in on homosexuality because folks are trying to legalize it people are trying I mean it is, it's already legal to engage in it but you're trying to have the government promote it with the stamp of marriage and so we're just responding to uh, what is is coming on here that's all uh, she mentions uh, one last thing that about separation of church and state also another misunderstanding uh, the what it says in the Constitution is you're not to establish a state religion and so whether you are for traditional marriage or you're for same-sex marriage however you vote on that you're not instituting a religion you're just uh, changing a definition uh, within marriage so um, just like most videos of this type wrong on every point that was made except for her first point which was indeed it's, it's wrong for um, people to be harsh and hateful uh, just because they don't uh, agree with them on traditional marriage or on a Christian uh, point of view